Okay, here we are. We have made it to Coda, Circuit of the Americas with the Z07 Corvette and our friend Brad came out with his Z06 brand new, couple hundred miles on it. Don't worry, he's not tracking it right now, but really cool seeing the, uh, the Z06 with the Z07 in the same exact uh, color combo, that being red and yellow. What are your initial thoughts seeing these two cars together? I mean, they look absolutely amazing. I don't think we're going to see very many red and yellow combos, and Brad nailed it. It's the exact cars flying by. NASCAR? We're good. It's the same exact sister car, isn't it? He even has the uh, painted carbon fiber wheels. Check this out. Same exact carbon wheels that are on my car. The big difference is, is that, again, these are painted. So I think when it comes to durability over time, it is a less to worry about for sure, because if anything happens, if you get like a chip on it, you can just add some touch up paint and you're all good to go versus me. If something happens with the carbon fiber, you're pretty much screwed. <laughs> Please let me know in the comment section down below, what are your thoughts on this build? I mean, again, I think he nailed it. Plus, it not only has the uh, painted carbon fiber for the wheels, but it's color matched with the carbon fiber front splitter up front, and it goes very well against the front fascia uh, carbon flash accent points all throughout the vehicle. The one option he did get that I, I actually missed out on was the yellow seat belts. As you can see, it matches the yellow stitched interior. He also has a carbon fiber steering wheel. This is a 3LZ version. Overall, though, I think if you're gonna build out a non-aero car, this is how you do it because it looks clean and the beauty of it all is that technically I think he has a higher top speed than me because he doesn't have all the aero slowing him down. But speaking of that, let's see what kind of speed we can hit with the aero car. We're gonna be putting all the downforce to proper use. I, I can't wait. The tires look good, look good and sticky. Let's head inside. All right, here are a few quick and fast tips that you need to know if you're gonna take your car to the racetrack. Right now, I am in pit lane, about ready to go out. I am getting past the front uh, guard, making sure that we're all good and clear to turn left. Now, following down this lane, there's one last person who acts as a, a checkpoint that needs to check your wristband to let you go out on track. Now, here we go, driving on out. This is where it gets pretty uh, hectic on track. It's because people don't quite realize the amount of warming up that you have to do to make sure that you are safe. Most noobs or newbies mess this up quite drastically. It is very important, very critical that you understand what I'm about to say. Do not, and I repeat, do not, Go 10 tens and try to send it the second you pull out of pit lane. I have seen a well variety of cars get totaled by going down this route. I've seen um, every make and model hit walls. And it's not the car's fault, it's the fault of the driver, I'd say, for not truly understanding what it takes to get a car up to temperature. This affects not only the engine or the brakes, but mainly the tires, I would say. You may have felt this if you drive any vehicle that has super cold, hard tires, because when they're cold, they get hard. Uh, more so when you have an R compound, because these R compound, AKA track or semi performance tires, are designed to get soft when they're warm. When they're soft and warm, they start peeling all the rubber off like glue. That gives you the superhuman grip that you get on the racetrack. The key is, is that you need to give yourself enough laps that you understand the tire that you have and you make sure that that tire has a temp in it. Some tires take longer to warm up, others are faster. I know some slicks that can ignite. Others, you have to wait quite a while and create a good amount of pace before they start gripping. The Cup 2R in the Z06, in my opinion, you need to give it a long while to warm up because I have a tendency on my outlap to almost get the, get the car sideways every time leaving pit lane because that, I'd say, half throttle can get the entire tail end to rotate. It's very unnerving. 
The thing that you're seeing me do right now is I'm taking slow medium speeds throughout all these corners putting in barely any inputs and just trying to get temp in the tires. On the straightaways what I tend to do is I go to a full throttle or I brake really hard to keep braking 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 because the carbon ceramics also need to build heat. Just like the tires when they're really cold they don't function properly. Therefore, you can't slow down as fast because A, you have cold tires and the carbon ceramics, since they're cold, they don't perform as effectively. For deceleration, it gets extended very far when you have cold carbon ceramics. So I go through corners pretty briskly to try to get a feel to see how hard the tires are. If the tire pressure is still too low, it'll roll over. If it's too hot or too hard, then there is just not enough grip and it'll start, start the hockey puck. The key is start tire pressures low around 24 PSI, 25 in the Z06. Uh, take one or two uh, warm up laps in my experience. Always make sure that your tire pressure is around 32 PSI in this car. Your uh, tire will Will always tell you the manufacturer targeted a pressure for hot peak performance it's on you the driver to always make sure that lap after lap you're maintaining that tire pressure sometimes you have to pull off and lower your tire pressure because too much heat builds up and as heat builds up in a tire the pressure keeps expanding right you could end up having a 36 or a 40 psi track tire where it's recommended to be at 32 pull off lower the pressure down therefore you always maintain peak performance and i think that's basically it enjoy these uh fast fun laps at coda get a feel for the racetrack that's what we're doing here also if you want to watch our fast laps our hot laps please click above right here on the screen it takes you to the first video in our coda series ton of fun ton of fun that was our fastest uh laps for our trip getting a feel for the car learning to better our skills and experiencing what this racetrack is all about taking down other cars more battles oh it gets fun Enjoy, like, smash the subscribe button and the notification bell. I will see you in the next one.
There you have it, great day at Coda today. The action's not stopping. I gotta get straight to the airport. I'm flying out to San Francisco. Let's get going. <laughs> 